میں یہ سوچ بھی نہیں سکتا تھا کہ ہماری عوام اتنی میری مدد کرے گی پیسے بھی دے گی دعائیں بھی دے گی اور پھر شکریہ ادا بھی کرے گی تو میں ان کا جتنا بھی شکریہ ادا کروں وہ کم ہے کیونکہ انہی نے ہاسپٹل بنایا Lahore, Pakistan's undisputed cultural capital and one of its largest cities. No one ever imagined that one day Lahore would be home to Pakistan's first state-of-the-art cancer hospital, prior to which there was very little available by way of treatment. There were some drugs, pain-killing drugs, which terminally ill can cancer patients needed, like my mother did at the end. They weren't available. Uh, but most of all, the poor people in this country, if they happen to get cancer, they die like animals. Uh, and of course, uh, even for people who could afford it, by the time they went out, it was pro possible that the cancer had reached a stage where it couldn't be cured anywhere. Today in Pakistan, more than half a million new cases of cancer are diagnosed every year. More than half of these die without treatment. But building a hospital was one thing, finding the money, another. Most people believe that making a hospital is easy, but running it is very difficult. But in our case, making it, it was like climbing Mount Everest. You know, if, if we were handed something like 600 million rupees and said, listen, finish and make a hospital, then maybe we would have said running it would be difficult. For us to collect this money, you know, was the, was doing the impossible. Not so, said the children of Pakistan, who collected relentlessly and became not only the largest contributors, but also motivated a chain reaction throughout the country. For the first time since independence, the entire nation of Pakistan was single-minded in their objective to build a hospital for cancer treatment. A hospital that would not only provide free medical care for the underprivileged, but also treat the patient with dignity and respect. In short, a tall order and rather ambitious. It is very ambitious, but I think in a Muslim country it's possible because we have zakat and through the zakat fund we will treat the poor patients free the only thing is that we must get, be credible that when people realize that the zakat they give goes to the right place they will give zakat when imran took to the streets the generosity of the masses of pakistan was astounding today people from all over the world have contributed and raised an unbelievable total well in excess of 600 million rupees The construction started in August 91 and now it's December 94 and we, we are opening the uh, outpatient. 
Now, you know, that's a record time in Pakistan. Built in an area of 20 acres, the cancer hospital will not only be a center of excellence in cancer care and management, but will also train professionals and research the causes of cancer in Pakistan. After years of toil and endurance, on December the 28th, 1994, the dreams and hopes of a nation became a reality. कि जो भी आदमी एक दफा यहां इस हॉस्पिटल में एंटर होता है आपने उसको इंसान समझ लिया अगर आपने उसके कपड़े ठीक ना देखे अगर आपने देखा कि उसने फटे हुए कपड़े पहने हैं अगर आपने देखा कि उसको अंग्रेजी नहीं बोलनी आती आपने इसकी फिक्र नहीं करनी आपने यह देखना है कि एक इंसान आया हॉस्पिटल के अंदर The Shaukat Hanum Memorial Trust Hospital and Research Center opened its doors with a great sense of pride and achievement for the people of Pakistan. Equipped with the latest technology and facilities comparable with the best in the world, it has already in its first six months of operation provided free treatment to over 10,000 patients at a cost of 32 million rupees. Those who could afford to pay contributed a little over a million rupees. With the bulk of the treatment free, the hospital will always benefit from the generosity of people all over the world who've always responded with great enthusiasm. on the principle of equal service for all regardless of ability to pay the hospital is a fitting tribute to the beliefs of Imran and the courage and determination of the people of Pakistan a hospital we can all be proud of more importantly we've given the children of tomorrow a smile of optimism <laughs>